To our top story tonight, and the country has received an additional 880,320 doses of the Moderna vaccine. This is the second batch of the Moderna vaccine to arrive in the country as the country hopes to vaccinate 10 million Kenyans by December this year. Andrin Kilemi begins our broadcast tonight. <laughs> The country's vaccination exercise continues to get a boost after the country received an additional 880,320 doses of the Moderna vaccine from the United States government through the COVAX facility. The second batch of the Moderna vaccine arrived Monday morning at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. This second batch now completes the donations of the Moderna vaccine from the United States government amounting to 1,760,780 doses. Kenya has now received a total of 5,146,780 doses of various vaccines. The government says it is targeting to increase daily vaccination rates to 150,000 by December this year. Vaccination posts will also be increased from 800 to 3,000 by December, with the number rising to 7,877 by June next year. Kenya has so far received more than 2.3 million doses of vaccines ready for administering. The Moderna vaccine is the second type of vaccine to be deployed in the country after the deployment of the AstraZeneca vaccine seen since March this year. Kenya received the first batch of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine on Friday last week. So far, a total of 2.6 million people have been vaccinated, out of which 2 million have received their first doses, with another 812,000 people having been fully vaccinated. The uptake of vaccines in the country is very encouraging, as the majority of Kenyans have responded well to our call to come out and get vaccinated. At the rate at which we are moving and pending no supply uh, problems or constraints, we expect to attain the 10 million target set by His Excellency the President that we must achieve by December of this year. The Ministry of Health has revised the deployment plan with those living with disability and underlying conditions now being part of the priority groups in the vaccination exercise. And we've added a number of priority groups, expanded them, and people living with disability is now a distinct priority group, as well as people uh, who have underlying medical conditions above the age of 18. Kenyans who received their first doses have been urged to ensure they take their second dose. The ministry further warning against mixing of vaccines. When you have partial protection, you are not fully, you are, your body is not fully challenged to be able to fight the virus when it comes. So you must be get fully vaccinated. What we have picked is that some people have been waiting, imagining they will mix with another vaccine. We are telling them, that is not yet policy here in Kenya. We have now enough doses of AstraZeneca, so let them come. It is not possible for governments to go into people's bedroom, each and every one. People with disabilities, we can understand. But for those ones, kindly come because with full immunity, you'll be better protected. The ministry further warning against mixing of vaccines. This even as the country is expecting to receive another 2 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine from the U.S. government this September. Andrea Kilemi, TV 47.